Um, my name is Nicholas Negroponte. I'm the founder of the MIT Media Lab, and more recently, I founded something called One Laptop Per Child. And what the two organizations have in common is a deep interest in education, and the particular angle that we have had, which is very different than most, is to look at education as a problem of learning, where a great deal of learning happens through discovery, not through being told. And very early work, and when I say early, I mean in the 60s, 60s and early 70s, colleagues of mine discovered that if a child learns how to write a computer program, the act of writing a program is the closest you can come to thinking about thinking. And one of the features of a program is that it never works the first time. So the child has to look at what the program did, which is not what they intended, go back, based on that evidence, to debug the program, change the lines of code. And that process, the debugging process, is the closest approximation we get to learning about learning. So while that sounds very abstract, it actually was so fundamental that we found that kids who wrote computer programs were better spellers. And you say, What's, wait a minute, what does one have to do with the other? The answer is that most of us, when we learned spelling or we were given spelling tests, we took the errors we made and shoved them under the rug. Whereas the debuggers, the coders, found great joy and pleasure and amusement. They'd tease each other. They'd joke about the errors. And guess what? They became better spellers. So it's not that learning how to write computer programs means you can work for Google in 20 years. It means that you are engaged in thinking about thinking. So one of my current interests and in people who work with me uh, at MIT is how can we revisit some of America's education systems, which are in a certain disrepair for three fundamental reasons that all can be traced back to thinking of education not as learning but as teaching. Because in the United States we have some basic flaws. The first, which is more uh, uh, economic one, is that we fund education primarily through real estate taxes, which is ridiculous. We're the only country that does that. And that's got to change. But going to the actual system itself, we age segregate. Age segregation is such a bad idea to put the six-year-olds with six-year-olds and the seven-year-olds with seven-year-olds and marching them through. It, it's so well known that you want to mix ages, and not just Montessori, but lots. Of, this is a well-established fact, and we could change that very quickly. But the part I would like to dwell on and end on is that we make a fundamental mistake looking at education as something that has to do with market forces. There is a belief that anything that is business-like is going to be run better than things that are mission-oriented, which is totally wrong. There are a lot of perfectly well-operating, both humanistic, charitable, mission-based, not commercial-based, because the reason this is important is that we are testing our children to death. We are subjecting them to tests, and the tests are really not a measure of whether they're learning. In fact, some kids have to basically give up learning to do well on the tests. And while this sounds like, you know, oh, these guys at MIT think this way, there's evidence. And the evidence is Finland. Everybody looks at Finland for different reasons, but one of the reasons I'm so interested in Finland, who are, by the way, off the charts on the international tests of their students. They're off the charts. The United States is below the 50 percentile, and Finland's always at the top. Guess what? Finland has no tests, kindergarten through 12th grade, no homework, shortest days per year, and the shortest hours per day. Huh? Why is that happening? Why are they off the charts? Well, the reason they're off the charts is because they don't build competition into education. 
The enemy is competition. And parents are complicit in this, trying to get their kids to go to Princeton by doing well on test scores. Stop doing that and stop testing the kids of the United States to death. Let them do projects, let them learn. Stop testing.